Okay, welcome <coughs> to this press conference. As you know, the DG has been to Iran for two days, and he's now happy to take your questions. Good evening. Hi. François Murphy from Reuters. Hi, DG. Um, has Iran effectively sold you the same horse twice by... Um, has Iran effectively sold you the same horse twice by horse? telling you by telling you that it will now do things that you thought it committed to more than a year ago in the joint statement, or are these concrete steps that you say you were well, at least you said you were working on them earlier yeah. today? Are these concrete steps something that you did not think Iran had already committed to more than a year ago? Yes, yes. Well, in the first place, I think the, the, the of course, the characterization you, you make uh, uh, may be uh, colorful, but I don't agree, uh, clearly. Um, the idea, as you know, of the joint statement uh, last year was to acknowledge that there are certain areas where Iran needs to deliver. On a number of uh, on a number of points, process which started and then it was slowed down almost to the to the point of uh, stopping stopping it. So uh, um, and after that, there has been a long a long uh, period which I have described to you and other uh, colleagues internationally as a period of complete. I would say, uh, talking past each other, talking through the media, not talking directly among ourselves, which I have considered as extremely negative. So uh, my um, intention was twofold. One, of course, uh, to re-engage, to have a serious conversation, and to start analyzing a number of concrete uh, proposals, which could fit into the different areas that this joint statement covers. As you remember, we in this joint statement were referring to the cooperation we have in the um, conduct of inspections. We were talking about some of the outstanding issues. That was another set of, sorry, set of issues um, uh, on the points that Iran needs to clarify. And then additional things, voluntary measures that Iran could, could adopt. And we were discussing all of them, uh, different measures on different uh, points. Uh, this is an ongoing conversation because the, the measures are pretty concrete and, and, and very specific. So uh, what I would say is that we are engaged in that, trying to define what can be done uh, soonest, I would say so that we can start uh, delivering on some of these uh, aspects. Am I understanding you correctly when you say you're, you're still discussing what steps Iran can take rather than having agreed on steps Iran is going to take right now? Uh, yeah, I would say that that, that is not incorrect. Uh, we, we, we have a number of points on the table a, a number of concrete measures that we have proposed on the table, and we are discussing, depending on, on, the, on the specific measure, we are discussing more concrete or technical aspects, or in some cases we are discussing the possibility of having them or not. Some of them are voluntary, as I'm saying. Huh? Can you tell us what any of these steps are, or give us a clear I would, sense I would, of I would uh, perhaps refer to them in general terms, because these are pretty specific issues. Some of them are quite sensitive, and until there is um, an agreement on the part of Iran, especially since there are voluntary measures in some cases, I don't think it would be appropriate on my, on, on my part to, go, to get uh, into them. But as I was saying, they have to do with, the, with uh, uh, enrichment, they have to do uh, with uh, access to certain uh, facilities, uh, they have to do with this type of things. So there is not much room for imagination here. You can very well uh, imagine what applies to, to what exactly. But since these are things that we are still discussing, I believe it's important to, uh, to keep it in general terms. Uh, the conversation is a substantive conversation, and we are continuing that. Uh, Albert Otti, DPA, Chairman of Press Agency. So w what are some of the steps that from the agency's viewpoint are most urgent that should be implemented most urgently? That's my first question. My second question is, have your Iranian uh, counterparts again linked um, improvement in the cooperation to, to sanctions as they've done in the past, as, as you've reported? 
in the past? Well, this is part of the, uh, the, the, the uh, complex thing about, or the complex aspect about this is that there are a lot of uh, um, political things involved. Uh, some of them within my purview, some of them not. All right? So when it comes to lifting of sanctions and things like that, which are very important uh, for Iran, I am not the one who has the key to uh, solve these issues. So uh, there are some considerations um, of, this, of this sort. Uh, but of course, uh, it depends. There are measures that are um, uh, of a different degree of importance. Yes, I would say that Iran has expectations, as I have them. Um, as well. Uh, but until we have a, a, a package, uh, we cannot say uh, exactly uh, how far we can go. At the end of the day, if they engage really, we will be able to solve things. Mm? So if an expectation is that we can say that outstanding issues are solved and they engage positively with us and we can get to a solid explanation of why we found certain things in certain places, well, of course, uh, we would not have a problem in considering those as, as being solved. It will depend. It's a process. Really, it is a process. I think, you know, if you allow me a reflection, there is some kind of expectation sometimes that there will be you know, a touch of a magic wand and we will solve issues like this. I'm sorry, this does not exist. It's impossible. We have a very, very, com very complex set of issues, some of them dating back to the past, some of them taking place right now, and we have to go, our inspectors have to go, we have to check, we have to see to what extent we can declare something solved or not. So this is why, um, I'm sorry if I frustrate you when I don't say we have it. I mean, this is a very difficult process, and we are fully on it. Thank you. Hi, this is Stephanie Liechtenstein, reporting for Associated Press. Yes. Um, what, is, what is the time frame? You said uh, agreeing on some of these mes measures yeah. is very urgent. Well, we when have not defined... Sorry, excuse yes, me, Svaya. Yeah, excuse me you. to interrupt. Just um, for, for us to understand, do you still have a technical team there in Tehran now they, they, yes. who are continuing the technical discussions and what is the time frame? Well, we have our inspectors there. When it comes to this type of discussions, uh, it's me and my team discussing them. Uh, so we do not have uh, people continuing the discussions or the conversations. We s stopped at 3 p.m. Uh, Tehran time today. Uh, so there are, there are two things. In terms of uh, timetables, again, we believe that um, there is a need to deliver very soon. I don't like... I don't like to set deadlines. I think deadlines are not um, a good idea in general. But of course, for me, uh, and also I, I would say for the international community, there is a sense of uh, uh, moving and a need to have some results sooner rather than later. And this is something that was very clearly expressed by me in Tehran and in Isfahan. And I think there is an understanding in Tehran that this is not something that can continue uh, uh, forever. Uh, so we expect, I certainly expect, to start having some concrete results soon. Yeah. So did you, I, um, you've, you've mentioned a few sort of areas. Um, yeah. You've said you've mentioned enrichment facilities, you mentioned access to certain places. Um, I haven't heard anything that really sounds like it addresses the, the de-designation of, of the inspectors. So is that something We have addressed that as well. Okay, so that is part of, part of this package. And Everything, you know. Okay, and by very soon, I'm sorry, but, you know, can we expect, do you expect something to be uh, concretely committed to in time for the next Board of Governors meeting, for example? Is that the sort of time frame that we're talking be, about? That would be good. That would be certainly very, very good. Okay, so you haven't told Iran, like, we have to agree by this day or, you know. Yeah, no, I, that's not my style. No, I want results and I want them soon. And I think they understand that as well. This has to be, we have to be uh, uh, moving on. This is something I said uh, in a press conference in, in Isfahan today. We have to be moving on. The present state is completely uh, unsatisfactory, unsatisfactory for me. We have almost at an impasse. 
where nothing is moving apart from the normal traditional um, set of inspections under CSA, uh, and this needs to change. Sorry, the usual rhythm of, of these things has been that, you know, well, at least, uh, yeah, it's quite often been the case that you've sealed a deal on a trip to Iran, where you've yeah. had something to announce yeah. upon your return. Yeah. Now you're saying there will soon be something. Um, what happens, what still has to happen? Does there have to be another meeting, maybe here with Iranian officials or um, uh, to maybe at a, at a working level? I mean, what, the, what are the next steps to get to an agreement? We are going to continue in different formats, involving myself, involving the Deputy Director General, the teams there, the teams here, because of the process. Like I said, in the past, the, as you say, seal the deal. It depends on what you wanted to achieve at a certain moment. This time, given the type of discussion I needed, it was not a matter of saying done or not done. There are a range of measures. Some of them are very important uh, that need to be uh, done, of course, in agreement uh, with, uh, with Iran. And this requires that we continue some of the points. So if I'm just, sorry, does, that, does that mean yeah. that you're going to agree like one piece at a time? There's not going to be one point no, where everything no, no, is agreed no on, or is this, is this no, a package? No, no, I wouldn't say that. As you see, this is a different one. Um, there is no sequence. This comes first, this comes second, and if I do this, you do that. I think there is an understanding here that there is a set of issues which we defined in this joint statement, which for me is pretty much alive, and it's very important that it remains alive because it covers all the things, including voluntary and additional measures, that for me Iran should agree to. So we have all of this, and we are working on, on uh, all of this. And it's not a thing that we are going to be moving on the inspectors, and then if we get something on the inspectors, we can move on enrichment, and if we do move on enrichment, I will do this and I will. This tit for tatty thing uh, is not what we need at the moment. Um, I understand that these concrete steps have yet to be negotiated, but um, did you get a sense during your two days that <coughs> Iran is willing to agree to and implement concrete, tangible steps, or did you get the sense that they are just ready to talk at the moment? No, no, no. I would say uh, what they said. I mean, my impression is, is, but what I was told by the foreign minister, for example, is that they are ready to engage in concrete, very concrete measures, and I, I of course, welcome this. Now we have to work on it, but the, the statements were very clear in this uh, regard. Any further questions? Thank you so much. For coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for having taken the time and coming out to, to the airport. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.